Hey you guys, so I am back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys my Sephora wish list. You guys know they do have the Beauty Insider event coming up this much, which I'm super excited about. I will have the dates for you guys in my description box, so you guys won't miss out on the awesome sale. And if you guys want to see what products I have on my wish list, then of course, just keep watching. All right, so I'm going to try to speed through the video because my phone is actually about to die and I have my pictures on my phone. Um, I am going to insert pictures so you guys can pretty much see the products that's on my wish list. Um, but starting off, the first one is by Too Faced. is their Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette. It is a new eyeshadow palette. And first of all, the packaging is so gorgeous. I think it's pretty and it's very like minimalistic and it looks very, you know, like different from like the outrageous packages that's out there. Um, moving on to the actual palettes, I do love the eyeshadow colors in the palette. Now, I will be honest and say it's not eyeshadows that's different from anything on the market because you can pretty much find these eyeshadows in like other palettes. However, I just love an all matte eyeshadow palette. I think it's a good staple to have in your collection. And I do love Too Faced eyeshadows. They're super pigmented. They always blend out really nicely and I have no issues like working with them. So I just kind of figured I would get the eyeshadow palette and it's only $38 so it's not gonna really kill the bank. So I do think I'm gonna get it and just kind of have it in my collection in case I have that one eyeshadow palette that have no mattes that pretty much suit my need. So definitely want to get that one. The next one is by the Sephora Collection. is the Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick. Now you guys, when I saw that product in store, you already know I'm not a fan of like foundation sticks, concealer sticks. I pretty much prefer to have the actual like liquid product. It's just what works best for me. But when I say that product is so creamy and the coverage is like amazing, I was like, I definitely have to get that product. It's different. So I'm pretty much stepping out of my comfort zone, but I just think the consistency and how creamy it was and easy to blend pretty much kind of like sold me on it. So I do want to try that one. And I do want to like branch off and try more products from their collection because the Sephora collection actually have some really good products. You just have to kind of like look, try it out, just kind of see what you like and don't like. So definitely want to try out that um, foundation and concealer stick. And the next product is the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Lip. Now you guys know I love those like sets, whether it's the skincare, um, fragrance, lip set. I just think they're a good introduction to trying out new products, new brands. And right now I'm definitely into like the nude lip. Um, so I kind of figured it's some good products in here, some good brands in here. I'm only paying $28 for it, so I kind of figured when I give it a try, and maybe I might find like my perfect nude in that collection. So I definitely want to try that out. Next product is by Huda Beauty. It's their 3D highlighter palette. Now, you guys know I've had my eye on that highlighter palette from when it first came out, but I never bought it, so I kind of figured because I'm getting like a discount, might as well just buy it. Um, the colors in there are so so pretty and I think it'll be really pretty against my skin tone. I love that like bronzy golden color. Your traditional gold is in there. It's just a really pretty powder palette and I definitely want to try it out and just kind of see how I like it once it's in my possession. The next product is by Kopari. It's their coconut lip glossy like lip gloss. You guys, when I tried their product out in store, I was like, oh my god, Saida, where have you been? When I say it is so pretty, on the lips it's definitely glossy but it's not sticky at all and it lasted so long on my lips it kept it so hydrated and i just love like the glossy shiny look of it that will be the first product that i'll purchase off this wish list because it's amazing and you guys know when it comes to like lip balms i have a hard time finding one to work for my lips that i'm definitely getting next product is going to be by bare minerals now, when me and my friend Andrea was out shopping, you know, for like some makeup and just hanging out, we actually swatched the Bare Minerals like lip lacquers. Oh my God. I have been sleeping on Bare Minerals in terms of like their lip products because when I say the pigmentation, the intensity was crazy pigmented. They pretty much blew like Anastasia like out the water with the intensity of their colors. So the three colors that I have my eye on, it's called Savage. It's like a really pretty like cocoa brown color. It is so pretty. It almost reminded me of the Kali K, the Kali K. It almost reminded me of the True Brown K lip gloss by Kali Cosmetics. 
and I kind of figured I need to just get like something that's more of like a chocolatey color to just have in my collection. So that one I definitely have my eyes on. The next one is called Perf. That's the one that me and her really wanted but it was sold out so we was like oh we have to buy it online. It almost looks like your lips but better. It is so pretty you guys. I actually had um tested it out in store and a customer was like oh my god like what's on your lips look really pretty and I told her you know what it was but again you know there wasn't any in store so definitely want to get that one um that one is more like a chestnutty pinky color again it's pretty much like my lips but better so again it's really pretty and the next one is called yes that one is like a light nudie beigey color. I will probably have to mix like a brown lip liner with that one to make it more wearable. But again, I'm into those nude glosses, so I don't mind doing that. But those are like my top three options to get. And then my next product is by Pat McGrath. It's her Mothership Subversive La Vie in Rose eyeshadow palette. Now she just came out with her bronze palette. Um, to me that one is really pretty but those colors are pretty much standard in like other eyeshadow palettes. This one to me is definitely different. It looks like spring to me. Now I'm not gonna say you can't find these colors in other palettes. You can however you can't find these palettes in like a lot of eyeshadow palettes from different brands. So it just pretty much caught my attention. The packaging is really pretty. So I'm thinking about it I'm on the fence and it's not her most expensive palette which is really good because it only costs $58 which that's not a bad price at all for her palettes because the quality is there the pigmentation it's there when you swatch it it's an intense pigment so you're pretty much getting a good price for a good quality palette and my last item that I'm thinking about is by Amrezi it's her highlighter palette collab with Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm only on the fence about it because it looks really light in person. However, it's a really pretty highlighter, pa um, highlighter like palette. And I'm on the fence because I want to get the Huda Beauty one plus I have other like highlighters in my collection. So I'm not sure about it. I'm thinking about it, but I'm not sure. But I guess you guys know what to see if I buy it or not. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much all of my items on my wish list. I know it wasn't that long, but... I was scrolling through Sephora's website and I was like, there's nothing on here that's really catching my attention right now in the moment besides those like options. So hopefully I got a few things off my list. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Like always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. And also let me know in the uh, comment section, what are you getting for the sale? All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.